What's up crew? I'm Alan and we're up at Snow Summit. It's closing weekend. We've been in line a long time. I've yet to get a lap in, but I'm gonna get a lap in and I'm gonna have a rad day on a bike because if I can have a rad day on a bike, so can you. Yeah! Let's do this. Closing weekend ended up being kind of perfect. And now we're here. I'm not saying everything went right. Actually, a bunch of things went wrong. But the weekend was representative of all the kind of things that can happen at the bike park. Riding with buddies, near crashes, actual crashes, injuries, mechanicals. Lots of people. And just overall good vibes. I'm gonna jump in behind you, Brian, if that's all right. Follow you. Cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, that two stunts gonna be weird. Yeah, same. <laughs> Good luck. Oh! -ho! Yeah. I had to pedal over the top of the Yeah, bike. dude, I was right on you. I thought I was gonna die. What's up, Alan? Oh, what's up? What's up, dude? Hey, you too, man. See you guys. Yeah. Steve had a new line on Miracle Mile and I wanted to try it and he was willing to tow me in and so we did it. Okay. All right. Oh yeah. It would take me some work to do that at speed. Okay, but it's, it's not bad, right? Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, shit! What's up, bro? Yo. How you doing? Hey, what's up, dude? Good, how are you? What's good, good, yourself? You good. How you doing, bud? Doing all right. Doing Just giving these guys some room. Definitely. Yeah. Flattered. Yep. I guess put a tire on that thing. If y'all want to get laps, I can meet up with you later. 
The leak ended up being near the bead, and while in the past I've been able to plug leaks in that area, I also noticed that I was leaking sealant from the knobs because, well, bike park. So this ended up being pretty much a day ender for me. Fortunately, I was staying at a place that was gonna make it pretty easy to swap tires. I got a flat, uh, my tire was all messed up, so I need to fix it. What's awesome here at the Adventure Ready Cabin is they got a setup, bike stand, place to lock up your bikes, whole toolkit, whole thing. So it's just made it really easy. Usually I'm having to like work out of my tool bag, however I can make it work here. I've got a full garage to work. Kudos to Adventure Ready Cabin. Turns out Steve ended up slashing a sidewall and so he also needed to swap out tires, so... Steve was going fast earlier. I gotta pace myself. Having the garage was doubly nice. 13 bars and I weigh eight stone. <laughs> you hit the lever? Yeah, hit the lever. And stand back. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, that was a bit of a mess up, but staying at the Adventure Ready Cabin was definitely not a mess up. This place was super nice to hang out in. I dug that their entertainment system was kind of 80s themed. I threw some stuff in the laundry, had a nice shower, used the kids room to prep my gear, had a great night's sleep in one of the comfy bedrooms, and in the morning had my breakfast and coffee out on the deck. I was bummed I had to leave that day because the backyard looked perfect for hanging out and having a few friends over. But it was closing day, so I packed up the truck early and headed back over to Snow Summit. It's the last day of the Snow Summit season. I'm gonna gear up, get laps, and see the season out. Quick shout out to Steve. This was his last day as a Snow Summit lifty. Whatever you're doing now, Steve, hope you're having rad days. Won't be the same without you. Yeah, you're yeah, good, man. How are you? Good. I gotta say, I don't know how they do it, but the Snow Summit staff always has such good vibes. All right, guys. How are we doing today? Good. good. They're often out there all day loading bikes, baking in the sun, and somehow they still manage to always have a smile on their face. They are one of the main reasons Snow Summit is so rad. Yeah, dude. I saw your bike. I was like, I wonder if that's Preston. Nobody rides Blue Steel anymore. It's too crowded. And of course, we're not going to forget about the trail crew. They are the prime source of rad days at Snow Summit. They are kind of evil, though, because at the end of every season, yeah. they do something that gets you stoked and makes you want opening oh, day to goodness. be right around the corner again. Oh, this is different. Jerks. Holy crap, that's way faster. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, bud. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Tombstone has a weird knuckle in it. Okay, yeah, so it wasn't just me. That was pretty rad, but we were about to take a trip through the darker side of bike parks. You good, bud? Did you guys call? Did you guys call yet? Yeah, there's somebody up there already. Oh, sure? oh, yeah, yeah. Ride her down, ride her down. Are we good? You're good. Clear. You. Unfortunately, that wasn't the bad one. If you were the guy on the ground, I hope you're doing all right. Run it down, run it down, run it down! Healing vibes, man. Oh, trail crew. And thanks for making it easier for me to connect up with a couple of buddies. Oh, right on. Damn, we How you doing? Heck yeah, good. You remember uh, Keenan and Bernie? Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. I just want to kind of get out of the way. Yeah, yeah. How's it going, man? What's up, Bernie? Yeah. 
Pro tip, notice the motion that this rider is doing with her arms and hands. It tends to be way more effective than shouting or just waving. So I guess we're gonna ride together now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you have been ridden with this guy for a while. Can't see nothing. Thanks, bud. You good? That's impressive, man. <laughs> nice one. Dude, that was so fun. Andrew's got good lines. Yeah, he does. What happened? Oh, no. Oh, dude, I found my ring so bad. I'm going to bang it out, and I just need to go get some sealant. I think I'm going to take a food. I got stuff too. I was gonna take a food break. Yeah, I want to take a break too. Food break or poop break? Food break too. I don't mind taking a break. Are you Alan? Yeah. Hi, Alan. Hey. Steve got a front flap, but he also dinged his rim, so he had to fix that. So I think he's up at the shop doing that thing. But I went and got the last Snow Summit breakfast burrito, and not just my last Snow Summit breakfast burrito, but the last one of the season. This is it. There's no more of these. Hey, so if you like this video, what do you do? Smash that like button. Smash it. <laughs> Just make sure and whip it. Wow, blue steel, no pedals. All right. I don't know if I can promise no pedals. <laughs> I'll go, I'll try. No pedal at the gate, see how far I can go. Thank you. No, I lost it a while ago. <laughs> no, I cheated kind of early. I did one backwards pedal. But you got an accident. I totally forgot. Oh my God, I took a pedal. Who should I be? Should I be behind Jesse? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell was that? You good? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, bud. Heck yeah. What's your name? I'm Brad. Hey, Brad. What happened to Jesse? Uh, he pulled over. Oh. oh yeah, I just was like, needed a breather after that sketchy moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, that was sketch. Yeah. And just like that, the snow summit season has come to a close. Who knows where in Southern California we're gonna get to ride next. If you wanna follow along, hit the subscribe button. And in the meantime, you can check out this content over here. The benevolent digital overlords at YouTube have chosen it for you so you know it's gonna be healthy and nutritious. And until next episode, go have a rad day.